All right, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a few more videos for y'all to talk about, including some funny moments and some wholesome ones as well. But before we get started, just make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So in this first clip, I thought it was another unruly passenger, but it wasn't. But I guess because it's the holidays and the airports are so busy, these airlines employees had a sign saying that if you have a question to ask, you must sing. So y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. <laughs> Alright, so in this next clip, it looks like some turkeys are performing a ritual, or maybe these are vultures. I don't know, I don't really get out much, but I did want to talk about the next clip after this. This lady trying to teach her son to say mama, but things don't go as planned, so tune into the clip and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Baby, the mama. Mas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so in the next clip, I'm about to show, I guess this lady is not having a good day. She gets pulled over, I'm assuming, and she just ends up making things 10 times worse. But y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. So the clip ended there is not me who cut it short. Now, for the next one, it's more of a next level type of video. This restaurant serves a pretty unique dish. I've never seen it, but the way how it's made and set up and presented makes me want to try this someday. Oh, Ahmed, thank you, Ahmed. Thank you. So this next clip, I feel like the commentary is next level and it was pretty funny. Honestly, we need more sports commentators like this. But y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. <laughs> So I never knew Beluga Wales had a sense of humor until I saw what happened next in this clip. So this lady goes to an open mic comedy club and I guess she's the only one who felt offended about the jokes being made Saying she is the only white lady there, but she wasn't I mean, I think she was trying to start an uproar against the comedian and it backfired on her I mean when you go to any type of stand-up comedy shows, I feel like you really got to have thick skin But that's just me, but y'all check out the club and let me know what you think Just here as the only white woman Okay. 
That's that Karen shit. That's that shit. How you come to the open mic to pull a camera? She really came to the open mic to pull a camera. Did her son really just say that to us? So in this next clip, this guy flips out of Little Caesars Pizza Place. I mean, I know the pizza there is good, but damn. So look, the pizza wasn't hot and ready as it's promised or how their logo actually goes. And instead of talking to the employees about it or even complaining, this guy decides to handle it in the worst possible way you could think of. Look, y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. He went too far when he was told his Little Caesars Pizza was not hot and ready pulling an AK-47 on employees and demanding his food ASAP. He points the gun up, points it at me, where's my pizza? I want my pizza now. Kimberly Morell told a local news station in Knoxville, Tennessee, that it was her first day on the job. The hangry customer, identified by police as 53-year-old Charles Doty Jr., reportedly became upset when he was told he would have to wait 10 minutes for a pepperoni pizza. Morell says he left the store, went to his car, and came back with the weapon. Disbelief that someone would do that over a 10 minute wait on a $6 pizza. Another customer in the store who had gotten her pepperoni pizza reportedly gave it over to Doty, and that was enough to make him leave. The employees called the police, who tracked him down and arrested him. We are not always hot and ready. <laughs> It's never freaking listen to that. We are not always hot and ready. Doty is reportedly charged with aggravated kidnapping and four counts of aggravated assault. He is in jail on a $90,000 bond scheduled to appear in court Monday. For Inside Edition Digital. All right, so this couple here is like parasailing, I believe, and this vulture randomly sits on this guy's selfie stick, but I wanted to talk about the next video, so we're going to end things off on a positive note. It's a little hard to find these wholesome type of moments, but this guy decides to surprise his girlfriend after nine years while they're on the fairest type of way, I believe. At least that's what it looks like to me, but y'all check out the clip. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but let me know down in the comment section if you ever been in this type of situation and how did you react to it. <laughs> Someone's been bugging me. My sock. You got a rocket or something? Baby. <sighs> hey. No. I love you no, so no, much. No. And I just wanted to make this official in the place that means the most to us. <laughs> And I want you to be my wife. I want you to be with me forever. And I can't think of a better place to do this <laughs> than right here. Will you marry me? <laughs> Will you? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Put it on your wedding ring. <laughs> 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 
So that's about it for today. So if you enjoy any of those clips, let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite. Also, share it with your friends and social media and all that. It really helps out the channel. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm going to have more videos coming out real soon for the month of December. So tune into that. And yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. And we out.